Hi there, today I'm unboxing a wireless smart dimmable switch. Quite an interesting product here by a company called Energy. So this particular switch works off kinetic energy, so it requires no batteries in there. So it comes with a receiver, so this communicates with the switch and you can control it remotely. So quite good in that respect. So you, if you had an area where it's tricky running a cable or it's a bit of a hassle to do, this is your solution really. Another cool feature about this is that it actually works off a smart app as well. So you have two abilities to turn the light or whatever power you're controlling off. So obviously you've got the switch here and you can have an app on your phone that allows you to switch it on and off as well. So let's have a look at the actual switch itself. Okay, quickly show you the packaging, very simple, nothing too fancy on there. The actual switch we've got in there, we've got some instructions and a 3M pad. Always good to see these 3M pads, quite nice and secure to use the stick. Okay, the instructions, all in English, which is great. Just some details on how to mount it as well, that's perfect. Look at the actual switch itself. Not very deep or anything, so that's quite good. If I show maybe just there, you could say it's about a centimeter thick here and just a little bit more with the recess there. So quite nice and compact. Has their branding there on there. Quite cool. Press it once, it clicks back. Seems like it's multi function with this sort of functionality. So good, you just press it, and I guess it just turns on, press it again, you can turn it off. Okay, let's look at the actual receiver. Packaging is very basic, nothing too fancy on there. Instructions, all in English again, which is good. So let me show if I can show the actual wiring details on there. It's always good to see. Okay, that's that. Let's look at the actual receiver itself. And got another 3M pad if you just want to stick it and you don't want to attach it with the actual screw you get there. Build quality, nice strong plastic on there. You've got a little latch there. I'm not going to try popping it up, but it can pop up and you've got a fuse in there, which is good. You've got a pairing button there. Okay, the wiring details there. So no earthing on there, but live neutral in, live neutral out. Dimmable wireless Wi-Fi controller. I did do another one of these, which was quite good. Very useful product, but it didn't have the Wi-Fi capability on there. So I think this is quite a bonus having that on a product. Okay, just to show the existing lighting circuit we have, probably help other people trying to wire this in as well. So you've got your feed coming in here, and then your next feed going to your next light, lighting circuit. Then you've got your switch here, and the actual connectors connecting this up in a junction box. So this being the receiver, the way I found the best way to connect this up if I skip to the next slide, still the same. Obviously, your feed here, feed going to the next lighting circuit. What I've done here, the in part of the NRJ receiver, I've connected the live and neutral directly onto these two points. So this is a permanent live and neutral connection. And the only thing that's needed to actually turn the light on is just a live feed here. So this is how you'd wire it onto a lighting circuit. So let's move on to showing it actually being done. Okay, so I've wired in the actual receiver and power's on and it's flashing away. And if you look here, as per the circuit diagram I've shown, 
I've connected the live and neutral to the actual power going in and I know the switching is just over there via this live cable so we can test this out now so let's get the actual kinetic switch it comes with okay, so to pair the actual receiver with the kinetic switch we hold on to the button here for three seconds so one thousand two one thousand three one thousand and then we just click that and it just pairs it automatically so let me show the light in action with the kinetic switch initially so there's my porch area there switch is here click it lights come on click it again lights turned off you can just faintly see it coming on and off there you go so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to configure the app to actually control the device over there so go to the Google Play Store and search for NRJ Smart. As soon as you find that, obviously open it up. I've already installed this and registered my account with them. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, add a device. Now, if that isn't rapidly blinking, what you need to do is hold on to the button at the top for about 13 seconds and that resets it and then you'll return back to blinking really fast like that so if I click on add devices wall switch the next thing I click here it will show my Wi-Fi password so let me just do that off screen and now it's going to attempt to connect so the thing to look out for is if it stops blinking suddenly then you sort of know it's nearly there so there you go it's just stopped blinking so it has connected in the background and just needs a moment or so and there you go it's sped up so there you go single dimming controller and if I click that I'm just looking at my porch area now I can see the lights turned on and if I click it again it turns off so let me reposition the camera and I'll show you the device working okay so there's the porch area and just to show the phone app if I click there it's turned on if I click there again it turns off got a switch button there as well turn it on and off now there's a couple of additional options there so as I've reset the actual receiver over there this no longer works so what we can do with that if I hit the pair button on there start pair hold on to it and it's paired successful and now I can use both if I use that you see it turn on in the background click that it turns off there you go the other options you get on there you've got a schedule so you can set random dates and times when you want it to come on and off that's very useful if you're away from home and you want to make it seem like someone's home uh, you've also got a countdown option as well which is quite interesting so if I click on that you can say okay turn off after say 20 minutes or so so very good I actually like the countdown option not seeing it on other sort of Wi-Fi bulbs or anything I think that's a useful one to have so okay that's that works quite well with the app it, just to show it from an Amazon Alexa perspective I've enabled the skill energy and I've added the device and it's scanned and it's found it as porch I've actually renamed it so if we want to see it in action with the Alexa all we need to say is Alexa turn on porch light okay Alexa set porch light brightness to a hundred percent okay Alexa turn off porch light 
There you go, works really well. Very simple to configure with the Alexa. So again, like I said, just add in the skill and just scan for the device and you're done. Okay, so you've seen the actual kinetic switch unboxed. You've seen how to wire it up with a wiring diagram. You've seen how easy it is to connect to the actual kinetic switch, your actual mobile device as well. Quite impressed how easy it is to actually link up with your Alexa as well. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this product. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.